The Jet Force Gemini team is an elite squadron that defends the galaxy from evil, specifically the threat of Mizar in this game. Jet Force Gemini is a large squadron of ships, but we're specifically focusing on one team. This team consists of three members, squad leader Juno, his twin sister Vela, and their dog Lupus. Immediately, you'll notice this team is armored up and prepared for anything, even an alien ant attack. But is there anything that makes this team special among the others? Or are they just heavily armored space cops? Upon first look, you'll see Juno and Vela as just humans with a dog. But throughout my playthrough, I noticed some interesting things and connected dots where maybe others haven't. What are these interesting things? I'm glad you asked. We're going to be taking a closer look at these characters. Get ready, because this is Overthinking It. Juno. He is the most straightforward of the bunch, the leader of this Jet Force Gemini team. His ambition was to always be a part of the Jet Force team since the day his and Vela's parents fell victim to space pirates. His goal is simply to combat evil and he is well liked and respected among other squads. His species is stated to be human. His hair color, blue. His eye color, green. His special ability is advanced heavy armor allowing him to walk through molten surfaces and fire. Though he wears a helmet throughout the game and we never actually see his hair, a lost comic we can see on a rare revealed video, we get a glimpse at his hair color, and it is in fact blue like his sister. Vela Shares her brother's belief in the cause, but is known to have a temper. Her species is human. Hair color, blue. Eye color, blue. Her special ability is advanced aquatic lung enhancements that allow her to breathe underwater or liquid for an indefinite amount of time. She is not as heavily armored as her brother, presumably because she swims underwater and this would slow her down. Lupus. Each Jet Force Gemini squadron has a cybernetically enhanced mascot. This team has Lupus. He is an alien dog-like species. His hair color is tan. His eye color is hazel. Specialty, advanced quadruped thrusters enable Lupus to hover for a limited amount of time. These are the summaries of the characters based on their wiki entries. Now let's dive a bit further to the first thing that crossed my mind. Why do Juno and Vela have blue hair? Aside from the obvious aesthetic choice by the devs, if they are in fact humans, blue is not a naturally occurring color amongst pigmentation. The color of human hair is based on the ratio of the black dark brown eumelanin and the reddish brown pheomelanin. So based on that fact, humans can have black, brown, blonde, or red hair. That's why we don't see any green, blue, or purple haired people. It could be dye, but why would they do this? Is it a mark of a Jet Force member? then why wouldn't Lucas have blue hair? Further diving into it, if you look at the character select screen, you can see some very interesting things with the scans of the team. Let's start with Juno again. He looks fairly normal, with a skeleton structure, a brain, nerves, two eyes, typically what you'd expect. Moving on to Lupus, his is strange, but he has been stated to be cybernetically enhanced. They only show his head and his torso, but aside from Lupus being different and enhanced, look at Vela's scan versus Juno's. Do you notice anything different? Yeah, that's right. Vela's brain is blue. This is really strange as Juno and Vela are biological twins. They should be similar if not the same. One having a normal brain and the other blue tells us something is going on. Juno isn't enhanced physically as far as we know and relies on his armor. His thick armor is what makes him able to walk through lava. To be honest, while the game manual says Vela excels at swimming, it doesn't say anything about her being enhanced. Though the wiki page seems to think so, the fact she can breathe underwater is 100% unique to her. And I don't care who you are, no matter how well you swim, you just can't breathe underwater one day. I can only assume that the discoloration of her brain does in fact indicate some sort of enhanced ability. It's stated in the manual that all Jet Force recruits have to be competent with swimming, but that Vela excels in it. I believe since she favors the water, this is why she prefers not to wear the typical heavy Jet Force armor. It would slow her down as she swims. I want to offer my theory here. Perhaps Vela and Juno aren't pure humans. So if they're only part human, what else could they be? Perhaps these ant transformations are more on the nose than we think? In conjunction with my thoughts on the transformations, Vela's hair is very specific. You'd almost say antenna-like. Do you think it's possible that a part of her is part of the ant race? I don't think so. But it was worth noting that her hair does kind of resemble those antenna. I believe this race has to be something a little more inclined for water. Otherwise, how would she breathe? 
which leads us to another really bizarre thing in the game with seemingly no point. Fish food. You can collect fish food and feed fish as you're exploring worlds. Why do we have this particular item in detail? So the fish food in Jet Force is probably one of the most controversial features, bizarrely. The fish food was there to feed fish, and that's all it did, and that seemed to infuriate some people who felt it should have a higher purpose. So what does the fish food do? And the answer would be, you use it to feed fish. <laughs> then the question would come back, what, but what can you actually do with it? What could you use the fish food for in the game? And the answer was, you feed fish with it. <laughs> and this was just a recurring theme about what the actual fish food, what purpose the fish food served in the game. But why? Why would the guys care to feed fish? They're busy saving the galaxy. They take the time out of saving people and trashing aliens to throw food to these creatures when they can. If you search on the internet, you can find definitions of Vela. Vela can mean many things, even highlighted in the wiki as meaning candle in Spanish, but scroll through the definitions and eventually you'll come to sail. Or even further, sailfish. Sailfish are big and they're blue. That's right, it's in her name. Vela is not only human, but part fish, and Juno by extension. It seems Juno just takes more after the human side, while Vela takes more after the fish side. If you put it together with Juno's name, looking up the definition, you can find the wife of Jupiter. But looking past that a little bit, in British English, which is where the developers are from, Juno refers to the fourth largest known asteroid and one of the brightest. So connecting them, you get an asteroid or space and a blue fish. Space, fish, people. Whoa. The name lupus comes from the Latin word for wolf, so that's pretty close already to what lupus is. I can't help but feel with all these dots connecting, there has to be some truth. Or am I overthinking it? Do you guys have any thoughts on their heritage? Be sure to like this video and shoot that subscribe button if you haven't to catch my future uploads. Until next time, have a good one. Jiggy look back.